Well, we've been doing R&D for the last year to look at the space of live streaming video. A lot of the plumbing and infrastructure has been worked out, and what we've been looking at is, are there ways to integrate technology with great content to provide new forms of user experience and leverage the growth of iPads and iPhones and Android devices and, and other forms of distribution uh, to create a revenue model that works in the delivery of high quality live streaming content. In the last few months uh, we've been uh, working with venues and working with uh, content producers uh, to produce uh, conferences and big events. Um, and We did the World Affairs Conference, the Global Philanthropy Forum, TEDxSF, uh, American Association of University Women, and now after some experience with the live streaming platform and with some production workflow and, and editorial ideas and post-production uh, concepts, now uh, we are interested mostly in automated content and have been working with uh, Axis Camera Manufacturer and uh, with a variety of partners to uh, test and then soon to start installing these remote controlled high definition H.264 cameras in venues to build a network where we can take a lot of the cost out of production uh, and partner with uh, live streaming companies to take some of the sunk costs uh, out of uh, live streaming distribution uh, and uh, with that deliver new forms of content. So I've been tracking the technology for the last four years or so. Um, Axis is primarily a surveillance camera company. Uh, but their latest uh, series of cameras that they've come out with are H.264. Uh, they're high definition. They have two-way audio, power over Ethernet. And you're able to, from any web interface anywhere, uh, pan, tilt, and zoom the camera and control the iris and the focus. And they're really extraordinary cameras. So that can allow us, for example, mm -hmm. without sending out production crews to cities uh, around the world, to have three, five, ten events going on live at the same time and have one or two people controlling those cameras uh, and, and producing events at a very low cost. Mm -hmm. So the integration of those cameras with live streaming and the plummeting costs of, of live streaming bandwidth uh, allow a, a really unique opportunity to uh, produce events and stream events economically that were far too expensive to distribute before. Well, the kind of uh, partners that we're looking for are partners who create content. And they might not be traditional content creators. So it might be a retail store who has a lot of expertise, puts on a lot of workshops, is, is a leader in their field, and would like to create a sort of social video experience, just as they might have been uh, experimenting with Twitter over the last two years as a text-based service primarily. Uh, live streaming allows them to create a social video experience where they can interact with their customers uh, on a low-cost, frequent basis. Mm -hmm. So we look at ourselves as a, uh, a channel or as an enabler for that retailer or magazine or bookstore or, or producer of content to reach new audiences and broaden the audiences they, they have with this new low-cost form of production and distribution, but most importantly to gain greater engagement with the audiences that they have and use this medium which, let's face it, for better or for worse, a television not only has been an obsessive use of free time for Americans for the last 50 or more years, uh, but also uh, is really the way that humans communicate with uh, moving, light, sound, motion. And so we, um, our brains are kind of equipped for video and that's why we take so well to it. So this is a way for those content creators to uh, use uh, video in real time to talk to audiences who want to be engaged with them.